catch it. That's good. Go ahead, throw it. <laughs> and so here we are. The next part is what really, really, really caught my eye. Soon as he found out that the Lord had had hit and, and, and smote, as the scripture says, his enemy with hailstones, Joshua went into prayer. And he asked the Lord, in order for us to do the job, in order for us to do the work, I need you to, to keep the sun in place. And I need you to keep the moon in place. That tells me that he was at a very sensitive time. I know that it had to be more. That, 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 the, that, the, that, the, that the moon was getting ready to go down and the sun was getting ready to come up. But Joshua says, Lord, because I have to do this thing in this season in which you have given it to my hand, I need you to open up the day just a little bit longer for me. What does it say? He said, look, Joshua, his heart was set on doing the will of God. Joshua's mind was set on doing what God wanted him to do. And, and, and this is what I love. His mind was set on doing what God had anointed him to do. Amen. And, and so he had the right at that time to ask God to do a, such a thing that was so supernatural that, that, that there's an argument going on even now amongst theological scholars saying whether or not or how valid this time is. But I The longest day. Because he had, he, he hit it. Now look, his mind had to be the mentality to grind it out. He had to have a mindset to do whatever it took, amen, to make sure that the will of God was perfected in his life. You got to understand that this man was so dogmatic at the time that he was willing to put in whatever it took. You, you bring these two together, both Joshua and Jesus, at, at the place of abiding, at the place of enduring, at the per place of, of now, now look at Jesus <laughs> on the way to, to being crucified, but endure, abide. No one, Jesus knew what was getting ready to take place, but he didn't switch up. He said, abide. He, he knew that things was going to get hefty around where he was, but he did not move. He said, abide. He said, endure. He said, inhabit. He said, be still. He said, wait. Knowing what was about to take place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There has to be, a, 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 there has to be death pronounced to this lazy spirit who don't want to take a lick, who don't want to go through nothing, who don't want to endure nothing. Uh -huh. This generation has got to rise and walk as you hear. He said, if my people who were called by my name will humble themselves, this generation needs to be humbled at the feet of God. We are so used to things going fast and so used to things being easy. All it takes for me to just get on the computer and, and hit a button and whatever Joshua. You, you, you know he, he circled uh, 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 Jericho 13 times. You know that much about him. But, but you don't know that much about Joshua it, because Moses paved the way. Moses only defeated two kings. Joshua defeated 31. Come on somebody. Uh, uh, 
because he had a mentality to do the will of God. In his mentality to have the will of God perfected turned him into a spiritual animal. Come on, somebody. It, it turned him into a beast in the spirit realm because he had his mind set on doing the things of God. We all lay back and all docile and, and let the enemy stroke us. But when you get your mind set on doing what God wants us, it turns you into an animal. Ah, <laughs> but we don't want to endure. And I hear we don't want to sit still. And I hear we don't want to wait. We don't want to abide. We're so antsy. We're so so anxious to put our hands in it to where God cannot move. God cannot do supernatural things in our life because they would sit still. <laughs> Gotta get back to the notes. What blew me away was looking at Joshua being right. Now, now, if you ask me, being smitten with the hailstones was a miracle in itself. Right. Knocking off a whole army of people with the hailstones was a miracle in itself. Amen. But that wasn't enough for Joshua. Because I believe that Joshua had such a sensitivity to the spirit realm that he knew what kind of atmosphere he was in. He knew God was doing mighty things at the time. And I'm telling you now that your discernment needs to be strong right now. Because God is in a time where he is doing miraculous things. The question is, will you lock in to what God is doing? <laughs> he discerned. He discerned the atmosphere. He knew what to ask for in the atmosphere. Look at you. All these dead folks in the midst of a praise service. All these dead folks in the midst of prayer. Don't you know you're making your request known before the most powerful being known to this universe? But you did when the atmosphere has already been said. Oh, my God. God. Help us, Lord. Dead church. <laughs> oh, you should be discerning. You didn't see enough by the Holy Ghost. He didn't prove to you enough about his character to know that when the, when the atmosphere has been set for miraculous things. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Why come heaven and leave heaven? I don't care how much words you read. If God has built us with a device that, 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 that makes us know when the Holy Ghost is trying to do something. I don't care how much you pray. We was born with, with something on the inside that, that, that hears the call of God. Uh-huh. Amen. 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 And yet we, we miss him from week to week. Wow, wow. <laughs> we we praying for all these luxuries and all these different things that, that really we were praying for God to bless us with a coat God or or, or <laughs> a, 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 a partnering God. Something that's just gonna, gonna, gonna drive you away from, from where you need to be. The, the problem is that, that we're not fervent enough. We we're, we're okay with when our when our fire just smoldering just a little bit. We don't want the fire of God to, to begin to consume. We, we, we don't want enough from God nowadays. I know how to be a base and a battle. I, I know how to be cool with what I got, but I know how to hunger too. He says, I know how to put a hunger and yet suffer me. Oh my God. Oh, my God. Better preach, Pastor. Shut up, Mush. And, and, and understand why our walking is 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 it, it changes from from day to day. The, the scripture says that, that we're we're tossed to and fro as, as children. That, that, that he's calling for us to, to grow up. He's calling for us to, to man up. But but we can't stand still long enough. You can't make your place or you can't make your abode with God long enough to where every wind that blows, you toss with everything that comes your way. Every time you get circumstance, you shift it this way. Every time something else happens, shift it that way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Because you refuse to abide. That's true. Oh God. Help us. Refuse Help us. to abide. The, he, he said, if my word I, 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 I abides in you, if, if my word abides in you, I, <laughs> Deacon was talking about the children being raised or being trained up in the way it should go. You, you don't know about the supernatural realm. If your parent ever spoke something over you, you got an opportunity to stir up the word that was that was spoken over you. And you got an opportunity to, to stir that thing up. Hallelujah. My God. And yet, we miss him. Cannot see the hand of God manifested in our life. Jesus. <laughs> Sloppiness. What the apostles say? Bang. 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 Yeah. Inconsistency. Sigh. Bam! All this stuff gotta go in this season. That's right. The, the atmosphere is so charged. I don't care if, if, if you don't feel like it or not. The atmosphere is so charged with with miracle. Uh, we 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 had divine appointments. I don't care. I, I done ran into some people who, if it had not been for the hand of God over the middle, I didn't I didn't talk to folks if it had not been for God. In the midst, it wouldn't have been. Hallelujah. He had no compromise in him. Joshua. No compromise whatsoever. Deacon, they think you crazy right now. It, it, the, the more you get a hold of God, the crazier you look right now. But 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 that's the requirement. I ain't saying everybody gotta run around like deacon, but you gotta get to that crazy place in God to where you don't exist no more. You gotta get to that place where, where you don't even recognize your thoughts no more. Because there's so much under the control and the captivity of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's good. <laughs> As we get ready to go, <laughs> they are getting it. You think when God said, I'm pouring out of my spirit, hmm. that He was stolen with that? They are getting it. They are being filled all over the world. Not just apostolic churches, but they are getting filled. If you Sanctify him in your life.